right, uh, hey guys, Wolf Creek here. I think it said hole six, par four. And what we're gonna do, one of the things that you might have to worry about is your range here. So using a power ball could be an option if you get a headwind. I'm not gonna risk this drive straight into the wind, but I will risk this drive with the tailwind or sidewind. And hitting this fairway is really just gonna be about, you know, catching that ultimate shot. So you're gonna see, I'm more worried about the first bounce being in the fairway than I am, you know, worrying about length. And here you can see I did get a great ball, but it should funnel. It should funnel, so I shouldn't have to worry about. And, you know, that's another thing that I just wanna kind of mention. If I know I can kind of bail out to the right since it slopes left, you always wanna pay attention to the way something's gonna slope. If I know it's gonna to slope to the left, I'm going to kind of be a little bit early with my timing versus if, you know, if I would have been late, I probably would have rolled down into this rough. So you'll see that I'm a little bit early just to avoid the major mistake because I know I can probably get away with a minor mistake. So now what you're going to see on this one is it does land into an upslope, a pretty, pretty severe one here. So all the bounces land into an upslope. So we're just going to kind of play the front of this green here. I'm only going to go just a little bit more than two rings. And again, you know, a lot of times when I'm doing these ring adjustments, I'm just focusing on places in the fairway. I'm just kind of eyeballing. And if you, ah, I called a great ball anyway, so it's really not going to go that close. But had I got a perfect, you know, it, it, it's, it's going to be reasonably close to potentially holding out. You'll see that day, uh, you know, especially with early clubs, if you do you know hit that great shot off the right or left it's going to be it's it's going to be a huge impact on how your ball rolls out it's not like golf clash where you know you may go two yards to the right it's more like four it's almost like doubled so your mistakes are like compounded about twice as big as you know from what i'm used to which is another element that makes this game a little bit tougher especially when we're talking tiebreakers you know come tournament time so here we are, we're getting this uh, Whispering Pines. I, I believe this one's like 16 or something. This is the one where I use the, uh, you know, and I mentioned this one in the last time, you know, I, I might just change the way that I spin this depending on the wind that I see. So I'm gonna just crank up. I might even use the full thing here, actually. So if I was to use the full, the full three here, because it's a tailwind and then play the ring adjustment, less than a ring, very small. I just barely moved the cursor. Other than that, if we can focus on perfect ball, we if we hit perfect ball, there's a good chance, you know, we always think there's a good chance that we're gonna win. <clears throat> I just rolled out a little bit far. So as you can see, you know, playing that, playing that wind effect is crucial in this game because you can see how far it rolled out. It didn't just roll out just a little bit. It rolled out a yard and a half long. So I needed to just pull back just a little bit more on that one. So keep that all that in mind, but nevertheless, you know, we can get in there close enough, win a lot of these, and uh, good luck, and I'll see you guys on the next one.